After several long weeks of practice during the summer, both Summertown and Lawrence County are ready for kickoff on Friday night. That's right, playing for keeps now. The uh, preseason has been good, had some scrimmages, and uh, thought we got a lot of work done, got better, and, uh, and now it's time to play for real. We're looking forward to it. Uh, you know, it's like it's been a long time. Uh, we've been practicing for a long time, and we're finally excited to be in a game week. Both squads feel confident after their scrimmages and jamborees. They can't wait for a game that really matters. I think we have a great coaching staff. We got a great new addition with Quint and his dad. Um, a lot of our starters this year are going to have more experience, and I just think that we'll just have a better all over a better overall year than last year. Very excited. You know, we've been working hard all offseason. I'm just ready to see how we do it in our extra first game. We got the gym brief, get like the early jitters out. I'm just ready to see what we be doing. We've been working all year. I'm just ready. The Eagles will be under second year head coach Dan Winfrey as they look to show their development in week one. I think it's execution. Uh, obviously, the first game of the year, you want to limit mistakes, turnovers, uh, penalties, those kind of things. If you can play clean, that would be a goal for the first game of the year. The Wildcats just missed out on the postseason a year ago. Now they've installed a new offense, looking to take that next step. A little rusty on it. Uh, the other night against Mount Pleasant, but we got better after the first the first two drives. We were a little hesitant to, to pull and rip the RPOs, uh, but I think we got out of that. We're ready to go. And uh, also, we, we were a little tentative on some of our, our runs, but uh, hopefully we've got that ironed out. And again, that's the first time with the lights on and against the other team. So, you know, we feel like we have some good things out of that to work on. Each team has been impressed from what they've seen from each so far, and they know it will be a tough battle. They got good looking kids, first of all. I mean, that's where it all starts is with players. And you got good sized linemen, uh, skilled people, impressive. I mean, they got a good looking football team. Uh, obviously, they've changed the makeup a little bit. I think defense is pretty similar to what it's been in the past, but offensively, doing things a little bit different. And uh, so, uh, good looking football team. Of course, the McCrory kid, he had a really good run against us last year. And I noticed in the uh, jamboree they had, he had a 70 yard run to start with. And Quint Smith is the other fullback. He runs really hard and plays middle linebacker. And uh, the Stole kid, the quarterback, he runs the ball well and, and throws well. Uh, we saw him hit a big one against Collinwood for you know for a touchdown off play action. Uh, and so they've got they've got playmakers. And I know that the coach Winfrey and those other coaches do a great job. They'll be well prepared, and I know that they'll play their guts out because it's a county rival game. The key for both sides is doing the little things correctly and starting 2024 the right way. I think we got to just do what we know what to do. Uh, just don't let all the pressure get to us and start off hot and carry it around. And if we do start off slow, we gotta be able to come through and get over it, the adversity. The effort, a whole lot of effort, no half running. We're gonna need great defense, great offense. They're a great team, but I think we get it done. 